Morning guys, welcome to Tiger Tropics. This morning I'm going to do a little review on uh, the Reef Flowers African, you can see it, African Salt. Now this product is a tap water based um, uh, the, uh, salt which you add when you do your water changes. Um, Basically, what I've been doing with this is I've been using it now for about two weeks. Uh, see, see if there's any difference. My fish were flashing. Um, so it's always bugged me. I've done big water changes and I've done regular water changes. My tank's always very, very clean. Still don't understand why um, I was getting flashing. So someone turned around and suggested that I start using uh, salt. Now... Uh, with, with this has a trace elements uh, for African cichlids and that can be your Malawis, um, your Tanganyikans, um, all, all them type of um, African cichlids. Uh, it, it's quite a simple setup, like my tank here is a, uh, a 450 litre, 118 gallon tank. Um, so after displacement, there's probably about 400 litres um, in there. So the calculation was pretty easy. All I needed was 10, uh, 10 grams. So I invested in a little scale here, which I, I then basically, in this little spoon here, which I basically... Um, Dish out the salt. That's the salt there. And I put it into a little container of, of tank water. I let that dissolve while I'm filling the tank up. And uh, once it's, it's full, I basically pour it into uh, where the outflows go on a canister filters and um, it seems to be working fish don't flash no more that should look a lot happier um, so so far so good actually I, I rate it um, it's a shame in a way because the tanks now just come, started to come into maturity now a lot of people forget that maturity and, and uh, having a tank cycle is two different things I always made this mistake as well, is that thinking that your tank is cycled, so it's mature. No, it's not. Uh, because you've got to run through the whole thing of uh, certain al algae outbreaks, uh, and just certain things that, ha that come with a tank maturing. And that takes time. You know, the tank now is about seven months old, and it's just getting into that uh, maturing stage. Um, like I had cyanogen, uh, cyanobacteria in it, which is the blue-green algae. That's starting to die off. Um, and the tank's algae problems are, are completely starting to die off now. Um, it's starting to find its balance. So, yeah, and I can basically do these big water changes. I'm literally doing every, twice a week I'm doing 50% 50, 50 water changes on, on this tank. And it seems to be doing the trick. So with big water changes, plus um, I'm going to see how the filters go because I did start cleaning them, cleaning them every two weeks because a month seemed to accumulate too much dirt. But then I've changed um, to frozen food and pellets and less uh, flake food. So um, we're, we're he heading on three weeks. So we're going to do a month again to see where we're at when I open up the filters, they're absolutely filthy again, and then it's going to have to be every two weeks. And there's a thing for a lot of keepers out there, turn around and say about canister filters being nitrate factories and all the rest of it, if you don't clean them. If you don't clean them, they can be nitrate factories. But if you keep, keep them maintained and cleaned, and then you'll find that um, they're not simple, really. So let me fill the tank up. And then um, I'll show you the pouring in. 
Okay, so as you can see, it's running. So the idea is, is just literally pour it into where the flow is. And that's it. That's the entire content in, in the tank. Now, just going to wait for the tank to clear up. Now, these guys haven't been fed yet. They're hungry. Look at them. <laughs> they're like this. Whenever you go near the tank, they're like this. So yeah, like I say, there's no flashing. Uh, the tank itself seems to have uh, seems to have really come uh, like come. I wish I'd stop saying um so much. The tank itself is is matured and and is looking a lot better. Um, ha <laughs> ha There I go again. Um. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the tanks are looking a lot better. I would definitely recommend this product because, like I say. It's been a few weeks I've been using it, and um, again with the arms. It's, it's been a few weeks I've been using it, and these fish look healthier, they seem happier. Uh, the colours, the colours, the colours that much more vibrant? Eh, not really. Uh, may, maybe a little bit. I mean, it states that that's what it'll do. But the product itself is supposed to actually create a better skeletal uh, health. It's, it's, it's all the essential stuff that these fish need for the scales and just their general health. You think these are uh, tap water bred uh, fish and you would say, well... What difference does it make? They've never known them water conditions. But I suppose genetically, they always have that in them. It's, it's in their makeup. And so basically add this product to it, to the water, they react to it. So something's got to be said for that. But yeah. Reef flowers, uh, salt African. I don't know why it's African salt, but yeah, that's that's the thing. I mean, I've, I've bought this now, like I say, a couple of weeks. It seems to be going for quite a while, and yeah, I definitely recommend this product. So that's it from me, Tiger Tropics. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. I've noticed that I'm getting a lot of people watching, not a lot of people uh, subscribing though. Uh, so, please, help the channel grow. I'd, I'd prefer the channel to grow organically. So, like, subscribe, share. Even if you've watched a couple of minutes of the video, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, so, I can improve this channel and make it what I really want it to be. But thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you next time.